Hello and welcome. My name is Romney and I'm the founder of Global Self Publishing. Welcome to this short course on the best way to use KD Spy. Now I've been publishing since 2019 and KD Spy has been one of those go-to tools that I've used to particularly help with niche research. But it's not the only tool that KD Spy can help you with. So in this short course, I want to run through the key tools you can use. If you don't have KD Spy, then there's a bonus that you can activate if you get KD Spy by using a special link. If you already have KD Spy, well, this will just be another great way to look at these tools and features that you can use when you're using the tool. So let's get into lesson number one now. We're just going to look at the platform of KD Spy, the pricing, and then we can get into the main features of how to to use the software. Welcome to this lesson. We're going to be looking at the platform of KD Spy and also the pricing structure. So initially, let's get on to the pricing and see how it fares compared to other softwares out there in the market. And the current price of KD Spy is $69. It's been that way for a couple of years now. It could change at any time, but at the time of filming, it is $69, but there are so many different things that you get as part of that purchase. Now, it is a one-off lifetime purchase. You also get a 60-day, 100% risk-free return policy. If you're not completely satisfied, you could just contact the team at KD Spy and get that. But how does it compare to other platforms? Well, publish your rocket is um, increasing their price. They've had it at around about $97, but it might even effectively double that price soon. So that price will increase way beyond what KD Spy currently has. You've also got Helium 10, which is anywhere between uh, 50 to uh, to 99 US dollars per month. So you've got a number of different offer, offer opportunities to purchase other platforms um, to use for your niche research. But I I like this one in particular. It has some great features that just allow you to to really delve deep into the niche research and the tools that it offers, which I'll be going through in future lessons, really do help. Now, if you were to purchase KD Spy through my affiliate link, then I will provide that in the description below, but also as part of a PDF print off um, that you can download either through the description below or at the end of the lessons in the final video. And what you'll get if you use my link is my free three hour KD Spy niche research uh, course. And this course is jam packed with so much information that you'll be able to use as part of your niche research for Amazon KDP. Um, it's a fantastic offer, valued at $97. It's one of my best-selling courses. But if you use my link to purchase KD Spy, then you get that free course. So make sure you check out the, the lesson right at the end, the bonus, or if there's information in the description down below, just check that out and follow the information to be able to gain access to that free course for using my link. And welcome to this lesson, we're going to cover off niche research and using KD Spy to find the popularity, the potential, and also the competition of the books that you're researching. So what we're going to do is to have a little bit of a play around with KD Spy. Not sure what I'll find, but what we need to do is ensure that when you do purchase KD Spy, you'll get a little icon up the top here, like a Chrome extension tool. And it'll have access to the site. So if I clicked on KD Spy right now, it would start to work through the uh, books that are currently in the top 20 results and looking at the, the books, like the best sellers that I'm currently on right now. So that'll give you all of that information. Now that's where it's got the best sellers. Um, so what we can do, if we click out of this and we just write bug books for kids, and just say you're thinking about creating a bug book for kids, then that would bring up initially the results. We go up the top here and we do a search and you can see that that will start to bring together all of the data that you might like to look at. So this is the like the part of the insights and we do get the results as well, which I'll click on in a moment. So let's click on the results. And that will provide you with the, the keyword information. Now, what we're looking at here down the below is our 
traffic light system. So you've got green, which is popular. We've got the potential. So there's good revenue potential here. However, red means that the competition here is very strong. So you do have 3,000 results. You've got 70,000 average sales rank. You can actually filter those results here by clicking on the top here. And then that filters it from the lowest ranking all the way through to the highest. Now, what I normally do is click maybe the first couple off. They're what we call our outliers where they might not be produced very well. So you don't want them to obscure the data. So we've now got an average sales rank of 18,800 across these top 20 results on Amazon, giving you a monthly revenue and the average price. So that's some of the key information you can get. You can also see the length of the book, the price, the monthly sales, SMA uh, monthly revenue. So that's not what the author is earning because there's the percentage that Amazon will take out including printing costs. So that's not the author royalty. The author royalty will probably be around about nine or ten thousand dollars which is still very very good uh, and then it also shows a review so it's also good to click here and get the review so you can look at this one in uh, insects and bugs for kids so it's got an estimated monthly revenue of 1214 reviews of 95 and an average book ranking of 34 so the way i look always look at it i reckon i can compete with under 150 reviews and there's Plot one, so we're looking at sales sales rank of under say 150,000. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. No, sorry, I'll go here. One, two, three books under 150 reviews and under 150,000 sales rank. I'd normally try and aim for about five to six books in that area before I start to create my books. So you can see the results that are given there. If we go for, we're going to go for. Let's just choose a book about uh, cooking in the outdoors. We go there. We've got 6,000 results. We click on KD Spy. This will load all the details for us that we're looking for. So I'm just putting in these random words. You need to do a little bit of research initially to find out what niches you'd like to investigate. So this will then provide the average sales rank. What I then do is filter these results, get rid of the bottom two or three so it's not obscuring the main data and we also need to look at the popularity potential and competition so we click here and we get rid of one two three that will give us an average sales rank of 257 uh, you can then have a look at the reviews so these books don't particularly sell that well but there might be a niche that you want to get into regarding a wood fire pro cookbook and that's got 13 reviews, but it's ranked at 20,000. So it's doing pretty well at the moment. So what you need to do with KD Spy is to go through the different keywords that you've sort of been looking for. So this might be a, a summer coloring book. You might think about creating a summer coloring book. It might be a high content book, low content book, doesn't matter. This is just the process that you need to go through. So this one's 40,000 results. We click up here on KD Spy. Then we wait for all the results to uh, come together and then we can do our filter. So this is the key insights tool we're currently looking at for our niche research. So we can go to the results there and we can filter our sales rank one, two, three, average sales rank of 140,000 gives us the other data here. Now on this tool as well, you can click on these. So the T, that will actually um, look at the uh, tracking, this book. So we'll go into that a little bit later, um, but we won't do that right at the moment. We go back to results. You've also got S, which gives you the book straight onto Google. Then we can go back again and we can go to C, which is also um, looking at different images where that might appear across Google. Uh, so we go back again. And you can use those there. But what we'll do is we'll look at the other options in a moment. You can pull results beyond 
the first 20. You can go to 21 to 40. So that will produce the results there. But you can also change the region. So if you wanted to look in the UK under this particular one, then you can go to the UK and this will also pull the results under this one. So we might stop that there. We might go, um, we'll go um, bug book for kids, just as an example. We'll go, uh, we we'll even go for children. So it brings up 5,000 results. We're in the UK at the moment, so we can click on KD Spy here and have a look at the results under the UK platform. And you never know, they might be a little bit uh, different compared to what you've been receiving in the US marketplace, but still it's a good opportunity to check out these different regions and you can see how popular they are. So let's do the sales rank and get rid of one, two, three quite a high sales rank I wouldn't even touch this at all <laughs> this particular keyword for the United Kingdom up here so that's how you can change it around so that gives you a quick little look at the insights tool for KD Spy and that's the main way that you can use this information from the very start is to look at the book titles. You can uh, look at the date when it's published. Use this information here to your advantage. Also look at these, but we'll also be looking at the analysis and the word cloud and book tracking in future uh, lessons. But for the moment, that's how you can use that initial results that gets pulled from what you plug in there as a keyword. And welcome to this lesson. We're going to be looking at the analysis tool of KD Spy. Let's get into it right now. So if I'm on Amazon and one of the keywords I'm sort of looking for for a niche might be Salma Coloring Book Bold and Easy Designs. So I've clicked KD Spy and it will bring up this information here. Now you can look at the results, which we can go here and we can do our sales rank. We can clear the last couple and it'll say that the popularity looks um you know looks like most books are performing quite well potential is good the keyword looks good and but competition uh has some uh, good competition but potentially you can get in but what about the analysis tool if this is the main keyword that we're looking for let's look at the analysis tool so this will bring up the price of the book the page numbers KWT stands for keyword in the title and KWD is keyword in the description. Then it'll also provide us with the rating and the reviews and the sales rank. So it'll give us a color combination as well. So we can see how these keywords are listed within in the title of them. So if we look here, summer coloring book bold and easy. So if we look here, it's in the it's it's actually this one here bold and easy designs is in the subtitle but we're looking at the keyword in the main title so this book this area just here so if we go groovy summer coloring book let's go back up there groovy summer coloring book and we do the same search up here with KD Spy. Let's see if that changes our results. So we'll just wait for these to load up and then we go to analysis and we can see, yes, the keyword is in the title. So you can see how that changes based on the keywords that you have listed up there. That's one thing to consider. Why is it important? Because you should Think about the keywords that you want to put in your in your title, what the main bestsellers are doing, and if they are or not including them in there, they're including them in the description here, but not these ones. Look at the rating, the reviews, etc. So that's how the analysis tool will help you with a number of different results. Let's just do one more. So let's go for a camping journal for... And we get to RV camping or journal and camping logbook. A lot of results here. So it's very competitive, I would suggest, in this particular niche. We wait for these results to come up. Then we can do our sales rank filter. One, two, three. Brings it down to 275. Let's look at the analysis. 
The keyword is not in the title for that. So you might want to have a look at what the titles are. So if it's not featuring in the in the title, that might be a bad thing. You might want your keyword to feature in the keywords that you're looking up just here. So that's a way of being able to use this tool to check the keyword in the title, keyword in the description, and looking at the rating and reviews and the sales ranks as well. So you want to look at the sales rank. If they're books that are doing particularly well, well, have a closer look. What's their price? How many pages are they printing? You don't want to do a 20-page book and try and compete at $9.09 with this particular book when it's got 5,000 reviews plus. However, there might be a book where it's ranking quite high, however the reviews are low, and you can then start to be competitive with that book. So that's how the analysis tool works within KD Spy. Use it correctly, and you'll be able to help get the keywords in your title, in the description, and you'll be able to do some more analysis on your competitors. And welcome to this lesson. We're talking about the Insights tool of KD Spy. Now, the Insights tool will provide you with some great information about market intelligence, demographics, trend analysis, and using ChatGPT to help you with the Insights tool for your Amazon KDP publishing. So if I was searching for some books and it had to do with kids' books about planes, then to use the tool for KD Spy for the insights, what you'd need to do is bring up the main page, then you go to KD Spy to the Chrome extension, wait for that to load up, and that'll bring you up the popularity, potential, and competition, plus the different keywords and all the other information with average sales rank and for average monthly revenue and all the other details there. So if we go to insights right here, this will bring up some information about uh, the prompts which you could use for ChatGPT. For example, if we were using Market Intelligence Report, so what we do is you can copy this right here or you can use the prompt and that will take you straight to ChatGPT where it'll open up into your account and what you can do is then control V for paste and that will then bring up this information right here about the book area that you're wanting to target. So if we go back again, and I'm going to do that one more time and show you. So we go to Insights tool, and then you can copy that or go to Use Prompt. So what I did was I copied it, I went to Use Prompt, and then all I did was go to ChatGPT and Control V and that paste information. Then all we need to do is click the button there. So if we go down to the market intelligence report, it'll bring up the keyword, the related keywords. So this would be really good for using in your related keywords for the seven backend keywords for KDP and also in your description as well. So trying to include these long tail keywords in your description would be fantastic. So you can also see the introduction and keywords, your target audience. You've also got your market size and growth, book title, recurring patterns and themes. So it's got a lot of information here as well. And you could ask ChatGP to address any other questions you might have about that as well. But if we go back to this, we click on KD Spy, we go to Insights again. We can also look at different areas as well. So market problems and questions, market dream and goals. You can look at key success factors. So if we went to the trend analysis, we can copy that. We go back to ChatGPT and I'm gonna control V, paste that in there and we search. And this will actually start to then bring information to you from ChatGP about um, what the growth trends are for a book in this particular category. So it's just a really good opportunity to be able to use the initial prompts. Then you can expand on that. There might be something else you wish to do. You can look further into the categories. You can look at different books you could create. You could create different chapters. It could give you ideas about books to use. So that's part of the market insights that KD Spy will provide you. And you can create your own prompts as well. So that'll keep on going. Well, let's go back to our book section just here. We go back to KD Spy and the insights tool is right there. Now in the next lesson, we'll start to look at the word cloud. So that is the insights tool for KD Spy. Welcome to this lesson where we look at the word cloud feature of KD Spy. Now we need to look at how this 
tool can actually help you with gaining keywords for your title, your subtitle, your backend keywords, maybe even what your competitors are using for the keywords in their book, and what are some common themes that are being used across the books with using the World Cloud tool. So let's get into this lesson right now. It won't be a long lesson, but it'll give you actually an idea of how this tool can effectively help you with your publishing. And so I'm going to use the same keyword that I typed into Amazon before, books for kids about planes. And if we just scroll down, we can see the different uh, books that are available, their BSR ranking, and then if you use the KD Spy tool, then it brings it all together. So it saves you a significant amount of time. You can see as we've as we discussed before the length of the book the price of the book monthly monthly uh, estimated monthly sales and reviews and then what i do is i filter the sales rank and you can see all the data and information here so if we were to take these off here it would give you an average sales rank of 104 for the keyword of kids books about planes but what about the word cloud feature of kd spy well across these different books that we're looking at all these ones right here in the top, say 20. If we go to Word Cloud, these are the most common keywords that are used in the title or the subtitle. So airplane, planes, kids, about, and airplanes. So you can see all the other words in here, but these top five, the top five words used in bestseller titles. So you can see that they're listed here. So my recommendation would be to grab these keywords and to try and use them throughout your title or your subtitle or definitely in your description. When you use them, ensure that they make sense. You need to have a title that flows. You need to have the words placed in there strategically and you need to include them so that they actually are what customers are actually searching for. So grab those words. You could even use ChatGPT if you wanted to grab these five keywords and ask it to provide maybe 10 different examples of titles using those keywords. So that's the word cloud feature. If you were to change the keyword up, so we can do that now. We go up to here and let's change this about um, books about Cars for, we'll say, we'll just do this one right here. Children's books ages three to five about trucks and cars. So we scroll down and we can see the BSR start to um, add up. Then what we need to do is use KD Spy here. This will load the page. This will bring up the main keyword. So we wait for this, all these books to, to load up. So we'll wait for that to happen. Then what we can do is actually do a sales rank filter. And we go one, two, three. It's a very, very good sales rank. So this could be a great keyword that you'd like to use. Popularity is very good. Potential is very good. And competition is actually quite good. Like it's healthy. You can get into that competition of books. Now what we would do is use the word cloud feature right here. And this will bring up the top five words used in the bestseller titles across these books, the top 20. So trucks, cars, kids, spy, and activity. If you just go back through the titles that we saw, you can see all of those. What you can also do is unclick any books that may not have anything to do with this. So if we have a look here, I just thought, say I'm a monster truck. We could probably get rid of that one. That's not really counted in what we're looking for. You might find other books here that aren't really part of that main keyword. So just eliminate them from the search and then you can do that. Now you can also look at Kindle books. So these are the Kindle books available and also audio books. So there's a couple of audio books there as well that you might like to look at. But I usually keep it on the books feature right there. So it's the Word Cloud feature of KD Spy. Actually, a really good keyword that you could use for your books, given it's got an average sales rank of just over 9,000. Um, and you can see it's in the USA region as well, and a really good healthy monthly revenue of $117,000. So there might be a couple of books here that are dominating, like these first couple here, but it's pretty even spread. The other thing I'd be looking at are the reviews. Can you compete with this? So Ice by Vehicles actually only has 16 reviews, but it's ranked at 3,430. Um, so you could compete with books maybe under 150 reviews 
once it starts to go over 150 reviews, you've got to be careful because it does take a long time and it could be major publishers that have books with over 150 reviews. So that's the word cloud feature and hopefully that has helped. In this lesson, we're going to be focusing on the competitor analysis tool of KD Spy. KD Spy allows you to follow and track other books. And what that allows you to do is to find out what your competitors are doing and how their sales are actually tracking over time. You can do a cover search, a title search. You can find out the average sales rank over a period of time and also the estimated daily revenue. Let me provide you with an example. So I've come onto Amazon and if one of the keywords I'm looking for a book might be about decluttering your home. This just might be an area that you're looking for and you might think, well, I might have a bit of a search through and find out how this particular niche is going. So I go to KD Spy and it'll give me the average sales rank. It could click off a couple of these books. So I've done the three, maybe you want to do four. The average sales rank is still very, very high. Popularity is very in the red, so I wouldn't touch it, and competition is in the red. So this is not an area that I would go into. But what I want to show you is the tracking tool. So just say you find a book in here that you think, oh, I might track that book and see how that actually goes over a period of time. So it might be decluttering at the speed of life. The T here, you can just tick that and then what happens is this will then load this into your tracker and that can be that can remain there for as long as you want to. It'll provide the cover there. It'll show you the length of the book when it was published, the sales rank, the, average, the price, the estimated monthly sales, the number of books that are selling and the average uh, revenue. And you can also choose the paperback. So that's doing very, very well. $4,681 estimated monthly revenue. It's also in Spiral Bound, this book. So it must be done by a formal publisher. How about we look at uh, a real life example? So I've got one book that I'm tracking, which is my book. Now, it's Archie the Bear Becomes a Big Brother. And you can go to Kindle, Hardcover, or Paperback. So let's stick on Paperback down below here as an option. And I'm going to View. So this will actually give me the results. I'm not sure why the cover is not coming up, but it'll say so the average the sales, the current sales rank is 148,000. The price estimated monthly sales 35, and the estimated monthly revenue is 420, which is a bit short, but it's probably more like 500. But it still gives you a good look at it. And I've been tracking this um, for a while, but this is the 30-day bestsellers tracker, so you can see how it does jump around it did get up to 46,000 on June 25th uh, 57,000 it was 78 drops down 196 and then it's on its way back up again so you can see it's fairly consistent across the board and you can also see the hardcover so you can see the hardcover rank uh, Kindle I don't really sell many books on Kindle but the paperback and you can see the days there as well. So that's the information you can get from tracking. It's pretty handy if you have some books that you wanted to track a bit more closer. Uh, and you can add and remove books if you wanted to. Uh, if you go to book tracking, it brings up the ones that are currently on there. But if you want to track a book, simply click the T right here and that will do that for as well. Um, that will actually add it to the tracker and you can track that for as long as you want to. So hopefully that helps you with the tracking tool on KD Spy. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the keyword search tool of KD Spy. And we can also use the traffic light system of green, amber and red to assess the popularity of the um, keyword and whether we should actually start to look at uh, designing a book or writing a book on that particular area or keyword. So let's look into this a little bit further. And I've just gone to the bestsellers page of Amazon and you can do it anywhere, the keyword search function. If you had a list of main keywords that you've been researching and just want to find maybe the competition status, we go to KD Spy, wait for this to load up. Then what you can do is go to keywords and then you can type in here. So there might be books that you've already previously looked up. Let's get rid of those ones. So if we, if we did digger books for, so I wouldn't put the age, I just put leave it fairly open, go search. And this is under Kindle, we want it under books. 
So it gives you one one thing here so far. So you've got digger books for toddlers, one to three. You can click here to get the average monthly revenue, or you can analyze, and this will bring up some more information about that main keyword. So we'll wait for this to load up. So you can see it's starting to load up now. It'll give us the results of one to 20. You give us the average sales rank, average monthly revenue, and the price. So this is through the insights tool, but using keywords. So we can then do the filter as normal. We can then get rid of a couple if we want to. It'll give us really good popularity, really good potential, and an amber light for competition. Average sales rank is 24,862. Hover over here. It's got 661 as a medium level of competition. Books here have a high level of average review. So that's where it's going to be challenging. But you might find that there's some books that you can create that might really help you out. But maybe there's another keyword that you want to look for. So it might be a high content book. So it might be aviation stories. And let's just see what that comes up with doesn't have anything and no nothing there so aviation books four let's try that no okay let's just do aviation and this is okay this is what happens it's good to show you what happens with this information and you can see aviation book aviation history the competition here is in the red but let's try something else we could go say keto books four Go search, wait for all this to come up, and then you can start to see uh, information here as well. So keto books for women over 60, we can analyze this information. It'll actually start to bring up that information from the insights tool, and we can then do our filter, and we get our insights, we get our word cloud. We can do all of that through that initial keyword search function by writing our keywords in there rather than going and typing them into Amazon. You can do it directly from KD Spy. So we can do our sales rank. We can filter that, get rid of the, those ones. You can see the average sales rank. We can go to the word cloud. We can check out that. Uh, we could also do some more analysis on it, finding out whether the keywords in the title, the description, the average uh, rating, the reviews, the sales rank. So all that information is there. You can change the region up as well and the population potential and competition. So that's how the keyword functionality of this works. You might be creating some audiobooks and it's actually quite a good um competition as in you can actually get in there quite easily uh, if you were to create an audiobook for that particular keyword and you can see the average sales rank here uh, 36,472 there's only one book listed here at the moment uh, and under audiobooks so you can use it for audiobooks and for other forms of books if you want to for the KD Spy Pro tracker so that's how this works for the keywords tool use it make sure that you check it out check out the competition get a list of keywords in a spreadsheet and plug them all in and then that will actually help you rather than having to type into amazon all the time you can do that if you've already done some research and that will help bring up those results one of the resources that i've created for you is called kd spy read this before you buy it and it's an overview on how KD Spy can support book authors and publishers. Now, this document is available for you to download, so just check out the link in the description below or download the document directly. And this will provide you with some great insights along with complementing this overview that I've created for you. So we'll go through the document very, very quickly. It's just an overview, my experience with KD Spy, the pricing structure, what can KD Spy Pro do? It's looking at the different insights, the key tools that you can use, and also the link to my free course that you get if you purchase KD Spy with my link. And it'll also provide you with details on how that course is delivered to you so you can access it. So I hope you've enjoyed this information and overview of KD Spy. It's a great tool to help you with your niche research, to just to ensure you get the right data and information before you start creating your books and publishing them, because finding the right niche is just so critical. 
So remember, if you do purchase KD Spy with my link, you get my three hour KDP niche research mastery course absolutely free. And all those details can be found in the resource book that I've provided as a download. So thanks again, and I hope to share some more information about publishing in the near future. So until then, goodbye.